I want to update the House on the work we're doing to understand the unequal and disproportionate way that this, target, this disease targets people, including those who are from black or minority ethnic backgrounds. This is very timely work. People are understandably angry about injustices. And as Health Secretary, I feel a deep responsibility because this pandemic has exposed huge disparities in the health of our nation. It is very clear that some people are significantly more vulnerable to COVID-19. And this is something I'm determined to understand in full and take action to address. Today, I can announce that Public Health England have completed work into disparities in the risks and outcomes of COVID-19, and we have published their findings. PHG have found the following. First, as we're all aware, age is the biggest risk factor. Among those diagnosed with COVID-19, people who are 80 or older are 70 times more likely to die than those under 40. Being male is also a significant risk factor. Working age men are twice as likely to die as working age women. Occupation is a risk factor. With professions that involve dealing with the public in an enclosed space, such as taxi driving, at higher risk. Importantly, the data show that people working in hospitals are not more likely to catch or die from COVID-19. Diagnosis rates are higher in deprived or densely populated urban areas, and we know that our great cities have been hardest hit by this virus. And this work underlines that being black or from a minority ethnic background is a major risk factor. This racial disparity holds even after accounting for the effect of age, deprivation, region and sex. The PHE ethnicity analysis did, did not adjust for factors such as comorbidities and obesity, so there is much more work to do to understand the key drivers of these disparities, the relationships between the different risk factors and what we can do to close the gap. I want to thank Public Health England for this work. I'm determined that we continue to develop our understanding and shape our response. And I'm pleased to announce that my honourable friend, the Equalities Minister, will be leading on this work and taking it forward, working with PHE and others to further understand the impacts.